Dear learners, we are continuing our discussion on stuffing and we shall now discuss the stuffing material of your SLM uh, in the last part of this video. And here we shall take care of these two learning objectives. Explain the concept of selection. In the previous part we discussed about recruitment. Now we shall discuss about selection. And the differences between recruitment and selection. Then we shall discuss the concept of orientation. Let us first take the first learning objectives. What is selection? According to Dale Yodar, Yodar is also another personal management specialist. According to him, selection is the process by which candidates for employment are divided into class. Those who will be offered employment and those who will not. Selection implies, suppose recruitment, we shall call for applications. People will apply. Those applications will be screened. We shall spell out some essential conditions. We shall spell out some desirable qualification. Based on those, we shall prepare a list of potential candidates to be selected. When we shall prepare that list, then we shall call them for interview, etc. When we shall call them for interview, then we shall screen them. We shall discuss with them. We shall try to find out their merits, their shortcomings, their strengths. So then we shall prepare a list that these are the people who can be employed and these are the people who cannot be employed. This may be one list is accepted, the other list is the rejected. So selection is that process. Finding out the right kind of people, perspective. Then when they will be selected, they will join, then they will be oriented to the organization. So this is selection. So recruitment will go first, then selection will come. So selection is very important, is not it? If we, there is a type 1 and type 2 error, if we select a wrong candidate, in that case that person will be a lifelong liability, is not it? So that's a very important, whom we are going to select. If we are going to procure the right kind of persons, in that case, that will help us in reducing the training cost. Because you'll be able to absorb the things in a fast mode. We can build a competent workforce and we can achieve the objectives right, in a better manner. So what are the steps in selection process? First of all, we shall have to conduct preliminary interview. Then many times it happens in the organizations, a preliminary interview is conducted, then based on that, the selected candidates will be given an application form, detailed. You will spell out all those things, your past experiences, your strengths, your family background. Preliminary interview, we may not need all those things. We might just need the name, age, etc. Then they will be conducted the employment test, interview. They might be asked to give some references. Those references also many times in IT companies. Based on reference only, the selections are made. If someone strongly recommends someone, means that holds lots of importance. Because in future, that person will also be kept in notice if someone recommends a wrong candidate. Then medical examination and then ultimately the final selection. So selection is not just automatic. It will go through a process. Then the other thing is concept of orientation. When we will select the right kind of people, they might be coming from outside. They may not know our organization. So they need to be oriented to the organization. That is called orientation. Sometimes this orientation is also called as induction. Means the person is inducted into the organization. According to Michael Armstrong, what is orientation? Orientation is the process of receiving and welcoming an employee. Please come. This is our organization. These are our rules. This is our vision. This is our mission. This is our strategy. This is how we work. Please come. Join our organization. So when he first joins a company and giving him basic information, he needs to settle down. These are your colleagues. Right? They will help you in understanding the processes so that you can Right? Spend happy time here. 
so that you can give your maximum to our organization and you can start war. That is orientation. So this definition, my dear learners, must be clear to you. It is the process of receiving and welcoming employee when he first joins a company and giving him basic information about the company, about the products, about the strategy, about the needs, about the mission, vision, etc. So, orientation program helps in achieving certain objectives. Right? Some, um, I have mentioned a few only. In your asylum, there are a number of others. So, these are indicative. First of all, it helps in familiarizing the new employee with the job. Otherwise, he was not familiar. He is an outsider. He doesn't know much. So, familiarizing him with the job, with the people around him, his colleagues, his workplace, work environment, and the organization. Suppose the person is going to join in a factory which is located in a very cold place. So, before joining, that person needs to be given the orientation that you will be sent to this place where the lifestyle is like this. So, accordingly, you have to prepare yourself. This is the orientation. To facilitate outsider the, in an, the transition in an integrated manner. To reduce the cultural shock faced by the new entrant in the organization. And to reduce anxiety. A new person joining an organization is anxious, curious, is a bit tense. When the right kind of orientation is given, the person feels relaxed. The nervousness is reduced. Anxiety is reduced. And this helps in reducing employee turnover. People do not feel like leaving an organization because they are rightly oriented. And this also helps in curbing absenteeism. People doesn't go for developing the habit of availing unauthorized absenteeism. They have become uh, habitual, punctual in attending to their office duties or their work duties. So these are the objectives of orientation program. So with this we have discussed about the unit of staffing. Dear learners, please read the SLM, please read the unit. If required, go to the videos once again and try to clarify the concepts further. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much.